welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing my mom's makeup. So let's get ready. All right, we're going to start with moisturizer. This is that same Clinique that I've been using on me. And the blue insert is to improve the tone. Uh, I mean, um, the texture, sorry, of your skin. Does that look good? It does, <laughs> it's nice and cool. My hands, I think, are cold. All right. And you feel moisturized? I do. Okay. <laughs> Dewy fresh. Uh, yeah. Do you, would you like a luminous look? Sure. Okay. I'm gonna take these, the cover effects, and put a drop in with this primer. I'm gonna hold the lid for me. Thank you. Thank you. Put a little drop. I should have asked before I did the moisturizer. Thank you. Put a drop in the moisturizer, you know. And that's gonna make me look dewy. Oh yeah. Those drops are. Are eliminating. Mm -hmm. Okay. Olivia has the glitter ones, and she told me this tip: you can put it in your lotion. During the summertime, and we have that JLo glow. All right, this is. Oh wait, let's do yours first. This is. Oh, this is her Shape Tape concealer that I'm going to be using. There went the tissues. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. All right, I'm just going to put some on my finger. Close your eyes. We're gonna use this as primer. Do you use the eyeshadow primer? I do. Normally. Not this, not just your concealer though. No, two, I think it's Too Faced. This blue, I don't know. Did you decide what uh, kind of eye look you want? You want something different or something close to what you normally wear? Oh, let's do fun. Fun? Okay. All right. Then I'm going to do use this on you. Is that okay? <laughs> sure. This is that uh, Ace Beauty palette uh, that Olivia gave me from her BoxyCharm. Thanks, Olivia. All right. Would you like pink to match a shirt or like a orangey kind of pink? Oh, I'm your um, palette. So okay, I'll just... I'll I did these on Instagram the other day, and so I'll do this on you and see how you like it. Transition shade on my Scott Barnes 62. You also have hooded eyes, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a family curse. I did hear over here a conversation last night about eyelid surgery. Really? So I'm going to blame my makeup obsession, I guess, on you. On me. Yeah. Uh, you know, way back in the day, Clinique. Oh, yeah. Got me, got me started. 
and I think I remember asking you to take me to Mac one time one summer yes yeah <laughs> where it all began I was just gonna say it started with those little um, eyeshadow cream pencils oh oh that's way back yeah. sixth grade So I cleaned my brush and now I'm putting on the second color. It's called Sangria. The first color was called Lotus. These colors are so pretty though. I know not everybody wants to wear these, but pink eyeshadow makes blue eyes look bluer. Makes them stand out. Why well, should wear that all the time then? Being the only person in the family that doesn't get complimented on their eyes. Turn a little bit towards the camera where they can see. So, I don't know if you know this, but the further down you hold your brush, the less pressure you apply your eyeshadow with. Really? Mm-hmm. Did you know that? I did not. I do if, now. I usually always hold mine, like, however Mid far this is. Yeah. But, unless I know that I'm doing, like, a darker color, I, like, have to really think about holding the brush in a different spot. All right. I usually take my fingertip and do my eyelid. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's how I do mine. With your finger? I learned it from you. Oh. <laughs> I learned it from you too. I'm gonna have to go somewhere after this, Mom. A little fancy makeup. Mm. To dinner. Which finger do you use when you put it on? Uh, probably my pointer, but I think you're you have less pressure on your middle finger. That's the one I normally use, but I just feel like it's a matter of like. You're probably right about the pressure, but I feel like it's like a comfort thing. Which one you have the most control over? trying to get your the shape you want all right I wipe my fingers off got a little pink under here but it'll go away all right oh we need light color the pink though Maui not the that's where I want to get it take me with you go in the inner corner right here I really hadn't, I don't know if I've ever done all of your makeup before, have I? Not think all of it. Your eyeshadow? Eyeshadow. And you, um, I think one time you, like, did contour on my cheeks. Yeah. Who knew? All right. Do you prefer pencil or liquid eyeliner? Um, liquid doesn't work on me because of my, it gets spread. Okay. So this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Zero is the color called, what it's called. <sighs> of course, it needs to be sharpened. Zero, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm just 
just gonna pull your pull your eye just a little tight. The thing about hooded eyes, you don't want to get your eyeliner too thick because then you're just taking up some of your lid space. Yes, and that's limited. But then sometimes I start mine out thin and then it, you know. Yeah, that's what the, the liquid does on me. Like it'll start out thin and then it'll be like however, however wide. This black over the pink gives it kind of like a, it's not as black. It kind of looks a little bit like plum colored. Alrighty, let's see here. What do I do with the lid to that? Right there. Oh, it was under that thing. Alright, now on the foundation. This is hers, Clinique Beyond Perfecting uh, Foundation and Concealer, it says. I've worn this before. But this is in the color Ivory. Good job. Um, it's because I just had to buy some. I am going to just put some. I can see you sparkling from your, from those drops. Okay. And if we need more, we won't come back. And I'm just gonna blend it in with my Clear Sonic. Do your lips like this. You're just doing it, it's not in a circular motion, it's just a whatever. Uh, yeah, just kind of like just spreading it out. Sometimes I like if I'm when I'm doing my own and I see that it hadn't spread, I'll just go back over that spot. We don't want to line, you know. <laughs> Do you have the same one that has the timer? Yes. Okay, that looks good. Um, alrighty. Do you, you, you don't use this as concealer, do you? I did not. I guess that means like if you had like a spot in your face, you could build it, build coverage with it maybe? Honestly, I didn't know it said it was a concealer. concealer. Okay, this is her concealer shape tape in the color light neutral and I have my sponge haven't used shape tape in a long time it doesn't take much does it? no it doesn't I like it goes Do you set your shape tape and powder? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Like holding your <laughs> face in a grip. I was just trying to pull some of your skin tight. You can open, you can... Well, I, don't want, I don't want to get on my contact. Oh, yeah. Then I'll be blind. Yeah, we don't want that. <laughs> what is it? Just blend in my face. Mm -hmm. Do you like that? The sponge, sponge, I do. I like this. 
curve. Yeah. It goes right on your like cheekbone. I'll just have a. This is the one blender. that's just uh, straight. You have a beauty blender. What color is it? Green. Eco tools. Yeah, I think Eco so. Eco tools. That looks good, Mom. I didn't know you could use a sponge for that. I always put powder on mine. Maybe it would be better if I use that one and get the powder on my contact. Well, I'd put it on like this, the back side, and it has that, still has that point. Mm -hmm. So you can like get in there. Do you powder your whole face? You do? What I do is I put it on the bottom part like mm -hmm. that, and then if it's like a lot, I tap it off on the top, or you can swirl it around. Um, I think I used the, that same, no, it's hair spun. Yeah, this is translucent, is that what you have? Yeah, I think so. The color translucent. Because, hashtag, same person. <laughs> <laughs> We are, girl, we are. We are. I'm gonna stop knocking stuff over in a minute. All right, we're gonna go back to your eyes and put some shadow under your eyes. Just a little bit, and let's see. What, um, what kind of brushes are these? Uh, well, this one came out of one of the naked palettes, <laughs> but I'm gonna use this end It's like a little sponge, or is there just all? It's just like a, it's shaped like a little sponge, but it's just oh, okay. little bristles. 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 And I'm just gonna go back to that sangria color. And this is a smaller brush than I normally use for underneath the eye. But, I don't wanna get too much. I'm just bringing it out to where it meets. Your eye water? No. A little bit? No. Is it? I thought I, I saw some. It, it doesn't feel like it, but I mean, who knows? Okay. It was the eyelid was watering earlier oh. today. Mascara? You want to put it on yourself or you want to put it on you? You know, putting mascara on other people is hard. I guess if I get on your uh, lid, I can show everybody how to get it off without messing your makeup up. <laughs> Do you use the end for the whole the whole brush? You mean just like right now? Like in general, when you put it on? I use the whole brush like this, and then I usually come back to like the inner corner and go like this to get those small ones. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Is this the, oh, yep, there it went. <laughs> it's okay though. We'll get it off. Is this the same mascara you use? Or do you need something else? Um, which one is it? Lash Paradise? Yeah, that's the one I use. I used the waterproof. Oh, this is not waterproof. That's because my eyes water. <laughs> I have problems with my clumping though. Your lashes? Yes. Some people like that look. No, I take my brush sometimes and try to um, separate them, but. You don't blink this out so much. It's got a, a your lower lash lines done for me. Sorry. That's okay. Oh, 
Mm -mm. I'm sorry, did I poke you in the eye? Mm -mm. <laughs> you didn't. AKA, I'm don't, glad. don't hire me. I'm glad you didn't. All right, I'm just gonna take a small brush and get that, um, the one that's on your eye. The mascara that I got on your eye, I'm just gonna, I let it dry and then you just come back with a dry brush, clean dry brush, and it will come off. Hmm. Voila. You don't have to take all your makeup off back off. That's good to know. I usually uh, get my makeup remover on a Q-tip and try to get it off. No, girl, that messes all your stuff up. And then what doesn't uh, come off, I just put, um, I saw somebody on YouTube one time said just take whatever your the shadow and just go back over it. Yeah, something about letting it dry and then going over with it, it like just scratches off. Hmm. I don't have to do your eyebrows. Go tell them why. Ooh, microblading, way to go. <laughs> All right. It's been a year and I still love it. I am going to use my blush on you. NARS. What shade? You had to ask. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same one I've been using, Orgasm. Oh. Pretty color. It has like a little bit of shine to it. It looks like it's not in my color of comfort. Why? Oh, maybe it is. I, th I thought it looked a little bit more peachy. It does kind of look peachy. But it looks pretty on you. What you normally, what colors do you normally wear for blush? Like more pink, I guess. I heard that, I think they said like plum colors look more natural because it looks more like blood coming to the surface of your skin. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. All right, I'm not going full out contour, but I'll, I'll give you what I do on the daily. And is that a specific contour brush? Turn this way just a little bit. And the, here we go. Uh, yeah, it's just a cheap brush. This is at Eco Tools, I think. It doesn't say anything on it. I've had it for a while. You wore it off. Well, I don't see even... See, the only thing I see that's worn off is Eco Tools. I would describe it as a fat or thick fan, fan brush. brush. Yeah. I feel like it's good for this, like, I guess hollowing that part out. I like to go kind of like in a straight line and then go blend it up with your blush. Blend it back. My, my hair in the way. Oh, no, it's okay. it's okay. Just a little color on the forehead. You don't really need like a, we're not trying to like disguise your forehead or nothing. You know, some people that have a taller forehead might want to do more contour because it'll make it look smaller. But you don't have a five head, so that's good. Hey. Good for you. Hey. Um, have you ever contoured your nose? No. Okay. Um, we're going to see. This is the Scott Warms 61 brush. I didn't put my monitor up on my camera, so I can't see. I hope they're seeing these. Uh, and I'm going to go in that same color. This is the Park Avenue Princess, and the color I'm using is Angle. Just a little bit on the top part of the brush. I'm going to go straight down the nose. So I'm just going straight down the nose, and I'm going to blend up towards the center. You don't want to blend down. It, don't, it doesn't take that much. Different nose shapes need different contour though, you know. Got to clear the top of 
little sponge. Oh, my sponge, and you can, since it's wet, you know, you blend it out if you, if you think it's too harsh. All right, almost done. This is the hourglass powder that I've been using that just makes everything blend nicely together. This brush is soft in it. It is. It also gives you a nice luminous look. And highlighter. Master Chrome Molten Rose Gold. That's what this is. Look this way for me. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh. Center of the nose. Cupid's bow. And then that just leaves lips. This is MAC Lip Pencil in Nightingale, and the lipstick is in Rebel. I let mom pick. She said she's not a nude lip kind of a person. So here we go. If you take this liner and fill in the whole lip and then put the rebel over it, it makes it like a darker, vampy kind of a color. But I like the, I like it bright. Easy if I'm, I'm just trying not to block the camera. I rub them together. Need to open up a little bit. Do this corner together. Let me close a little bit. It's like being at Parisians back in the day. You know, I like a uh, tall Cupid's bow. Yes, you do. I used to go um, to Parisians like before I had a dance, Chevron dance or something to go to and get them to do my makeup. It was always fun. And I wonder why I have a problem. over there snacking yep uh, all right I see just a little bit above
I would buy whatever eyeshadow and lipstick that they would use on me. Mm -hmm. And I could never um, make it look the same. Who knew you could do that? What? <laughs> fix your makeup? Yeah, fix it with um, some <laughs> well, when foundation. You mess up, when you mess up all the time, you gotta know how to fix it. No, I just have to end up going where I'm going when messed up. Nay. All right, Mom. Well, good. Definitely bright. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. What you think? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> different? Yeah, it is different. But it's I like it. It's pretty. Your foundation pretty. and concealer look good. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Does it look different than when you do it? From my, yeah, it looks better. It looks... Well, I don't know about that, but it looks different, I think. Mm -hmm. It looks better from my uh, old skin. Oh, whatever. The proper term is mature skin. Must, okay, my mature skin. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. I hope you like this. Yeah. Hit the like button for my mom. Adler said so too. <laughs>